Hello, Heritage of Faith family. Uh, welcome back for an encouraging word. Uh, once again, I want you to know, Pastor Annette and I love you. You're in our hearts. You're in our prayers. And uh, I'm telling you, know that we have joined our faith with your faith. And I'm telling you, the word tells us that when two agree as touching anything, it should be done by our Father, which is in heaven. So know that we're standing with you in agreement with you for your greatest breakthroughs uh, that you have yet ever to be able to see in your life. Now, as I get into the encouraging word today, I want to remind you of the prophetic word that was given by Dr. Savell. That 2020, God is opening a new door and bringing about supernatural increase like never before. I'm telling you, that word is true today as it was the day he released it to us as a church back in September. So I'm telling you, we don't let go of the word. Remember, the word tells us that we war with those prophecies that have been spoken over us. So we hold to the word and we don't let go of it. But as we talk about holding to the word today and continuing to look up, set our affection on him and trust in him, I want to look at Romans chapter 4. And uh, we, we see Romans chapter 4, verse 20. Uh, it tells us about Abraham. It tells us that Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. See, you could call that prophetic word a promise. You, call, you could call it a, a, uh, a promise from God for you and your family. But it tells us that Abraham didn't stagger it, that stagger. Meaning he was, staggering is to be unstable, it's to be movable. But I'm telling you, you and I, we need to be immovable in a, in a world where things are being moved. And I'm telling you, we can't stagger at, at what we see happening, going on around us. We have to stay fixed in the word, fixed upon the promise of God, and continue fixing our faith on him who does impossible things. It says, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but it says, but he was strong in faith, giving praise and glory to God. He was strong in faith, meaning his faith was established. His faith was made strong. His faith was immovable as he gave praise and glory to God. I'm telling you, that's what giving praise and glory to God is all about. Praise is releasing your faith. And as you praise and as you worship and you declare his goodness and you declare his faithfulness, I'm telling you, it is solidifying your heart of faith. And I'm telling you, it says, Abraham, stagger not at those promises. But it said, I'm telling you, he was persuaded He was fully persuaded. He was strong in faith, giving glory to God. See, we don't give glory to coronavirus. We don't give glory to all that's happening around us. But what? We give glory to God. And as we do that, as we give praise to Him, I'm telling you, praise continues to establish, strengthen, but also release your faith over whatever you're facing and whatever you're going through. And it tells us, verse 21, and being fully persuaded... That what he had promised, he was able to perform. I'm telling you, that's what you need to praise God about today. That's what you need to focus on today. You need to be fully persuaded. And what does the word persuade mean? The word persuade means to be filled with only one thought. If you're persuaded, you're filled with one thought, meaning there's not room for a a second thought. You're filled with one thought. So Abraham was filled with only one thought because he, what was his one thought? That what he had promised, what God had promised, God was able to perform. So I want you to know wherever you're at right now, whatever you're facing, I want you to not, not only know that God is faithful that promised, But I want you to know that he has the ability to bring it to pass. I want you to say that with me. Say this. I know that my God is faithful to his promise and that he is able to bring it to pass. Know that Annette and I love you. We believe in you. And I'm excited because I know the best is yet to come and your greatest breakthroughs are about to happen. In Jesus' name. Until next time, we love you.